All right, everyone. I just wanted to make a quick video just to let you know the the new procedure for the videos. Like I said, in Unit 4, I'm making my own videos, and if you open the Unit 4 folder, it may look a little different because it has these little, uh, I don't know, ruler squares. Um, but those are the videos. So normally in the Unit 4 Lesson 1 folder, if we click that, everything in there is normal. We got the notes, we got the practice, and we got the practice key. But because I have the student completion, or the completion rules, I should say, in place, you need to complete the, the item above it in order to access the next item. And we see above the Unit 4 Lesson 1 folder, there is the Unit 4 less, or Notes 1 folder. And in there it says, you must score at least 100. And the thing you need to do is, really what that's saying is, you need to watch 100% of the video. But really that's all it's saying. And the video is now in play posit. Um, I had a couple colleagues reference me or reference the play posit and recommend it. So trying to jump on that and see how it works. And uh, hopefully it works well. So when you click on it, it'll bring it up here. And then this may not look like yours. Um, I click preview. This may be what you see right away. Now, if you take your notes on paper, there's nothing different you need to do. You just need to click play, watch the video, and you'll be fine. But um, if you take your notes on your iPad, then this is what you need to do. You need to make sure that you are accessing this video and accessing Schoology through a web browser. I highly recommend Google Chrome. Um, I have heard a couple students having success with Safari, but there are a couple workarounds and there are a couple bugs with that. So nobody likes bugs, but I know Google Chrome works really well with it. So if again, if you take your notes on your iPad with um, at the same time as watching the video, then this is what you need to do. You need to go onto Google Chrome, you need to click play, and then right away, it pauses it. And if you look over, it says, you must be watching the video in Google Chrome or in Safari to download the note sheet. So all you need to do is click the note sheet PDF. When you do that, a new tab opens. And then if you click the little box with a little arrow escaping, the share button over there click notability and then it'll send it over notability and then you know what to do from there if that is not you if you um, took my recommendation from the beginning and you take the notes on paper and then do um, the homework on your ipad or on paper also so that way you can always reference your notes on paper then all you need to do is when you click play don't even worry about that little 4.1 notes guy over there. You can just click continue and the video will start playing. Um, yeah, so that's the general gist of how the videos will work. So once you do that, once you watch the whole video, go all the way through, then you'll see that you have a little green check mark and where it says you must score at least 100. If you watch it, you get 100. Now you can move on. Now you can access this folder and you can take out your practice if you choose to do that on your iPad or um, you can just use your notes on paper to do the homework on paper. Either way, I'm perfectly fine with um, either of those options. Just if you are the, one of those people that prefer to do the notes and the video at the same time simultaneously on the iPad, this is the workaround. So uh, hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, if you are confused as to what's going on and uh, how this is working, let me know. I'll try to troubleshoot anything that you have. Other than that, that's pretty much how it goes. So 
Have a great rest of your week, and uh, we'll see you guys later.